Just have a look at this channel. It has more than 14 million subs, and its most popular video has over 100 million views. In fact, all of them got millions of views. But it's not only this one. Look at this channel. All of its videos have millions of video views. And honestly, there are so many YouTube channels in this niche. And what they're all doing is they upload simple lo-fi beats with a simple background as well. But how is this possible? Don't worry. I'm gonna tell you. I will go now, step by step, the whole process of making lo-fi beats YouTube channel. And yes, creating a channel is not enough. You have to complete 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. It's not an easy task, but I will share a method of getting quick success at the end. So let's just dive in. First of all, let's create some lo-fi beats. To create lo-fi beats, I will use an AI tool called Mubert. It is over at mubert.com. It's a music creator. AI tool. Many content creators and artists are using this AI tool to produce different kinds of music and to start creating your own music click on generate a track now. Now from here on the next page you just have to enter some data some information about your music track and this here as you can see this is the prompt box. Now there's two ways in which you can do this. First of all as I've said you can type in the prompt or you can just choose the genres moods or activities. So, for example, let's just go with moods. I'll just click here, and then you can just choose something which is, let's say, dreamy. If I click on the dreamy here, it'll put something here in the prompt box. And next on, set type track, you've got options here. If you want it to be a jingle, mix, or a loop, I'll just leave it at track. And the last step is to select a duration of this song. Now, it's never going to be possible for you to but like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, what you're going to do is you're going to create multiple tracks and then we're going to combine them all together. So let's just go with like one minute now and 45 seconds. Click on generate a track and this will, of course, now make the track. This is going to take some time and it's going to depend on the length. But honestly, it's not so hard. And of course, you don't need any music knowledge. And yeah, it doesn't take a lot of time. So, let me just preview this for you so you can just hear. Mubert. Sounds pretty cool, right? Of course, they've got that like Mubert thing, but I'm going to talk about that later. Okay, the next option, as I've told you, is to use just a prompt. So you can just type in like this, lo-fi beat, study, relax, dreamy once more, and then click on generate a track once more. And here it is, this lo-fi beat is done. Let's have a listen. Move it. Move it. Pretty, pretty dope, right? So what do you have to do now? Click here on the download button. Of course, you got to create yourself an account. Use Google, Facebook, your email, whatever. And now, of course, once you've created yourself an account, click on the download button here. And what's going to happen now? Of course, they offer you to upgrade this plan, but you don't have to do it right now. Just go over to my downloads here. And this is your song that you've made and you want to download this now. Now, from here, click on the download. And the next thing that you got to do, you have to enter your channel URL from YouTube just to solve the copyright issue, right? Because this song is going to be yours only. So you should enter the channel URL where you will upload this music. If you don't have a YouTube channel and are not familiar with creating a professional channel, then just follow the next steps. If you already have a channel or you're just familiar with how to create one on YouTube, you can just skip the next part. All right, to create the channel, just head over to YouTube and of course, just sign up. Just click on sign in or sign up, whatever. Use your email. And now when you log in, click on your profile icon, click on create a channel here. And then of course, firstly, you got to name the channel and you got to give it a handle here. Of course, if you already have a name on your mind, that's great. Otherwise, just ask ChatGPT to suggest you some names. For example, I like this one. So Lo-Fi Lagoon, I will take that name. I will paste it here, Lo-Fi Lagoon, and I'll just take this handle. It's going to work out well. Click on create a channel and it's done. You've got yourself a channel. Now, as all the other channels, you just 
just go ahead and go and see how other people are doing it. So they have the name, they have the logo here, and of course they have a banner. In order to create the logo, you can just use canva.com. It's free and it's really simple to use. After logging in with your account, just type here YouTube logo, all right? And most probably it's gonna appear here. So YouTube channel logo, click on it. Click on create a blank YouTube channel logo because from here we're gonna take some templates and all you gotta do now is that you just search for it. So I'll just search for music logo, all right? And there's gonna be tons of these logos that you can use. And of course you can change the name. So whichever one of these you like. So let's just go with this one. I like this one, even though it's for channel, whatever. I'll just rename this. Our channel name is Lo-Fi Lagoon. Well, I answered too many. So Lo-Fi Lagoon Fashion Channel. It's not going to be Fashion Channel. It's going to be Music Channel. This is my logo and I like it. The next thing, as of course, this channel made it, we need a banner. Once again, use this. Now, just type in YouTube banner. What is it with my keyboard? YouTube banners. Click on create a blank YouTube banner. Once again, you can just search for music. And of course, there's going to be loads of these music banners. Let's just go with, I don't know, maybe this one. Looks okay. All right. Here, you can just change this. You can put your logo that you're going to download here. Click on the share. Click on download and make this JPG. It's the best one. Download it. And for example, you can just move this one. You can remove or replace with your own logo. Or you can just delete this one, right? You can delete the whole thing. You can move this. Canva is really easy, especially for beginners. Really user-friendly. Change all that you don't like and everything that's not related to your channel, right? Okay, YouTube tells us that our channel is being created. Check back in a few moments. So what you're gonna do next, you're gonna take that banner, you're gonna take that logo, and you're just gonna upload all of that on YouTube. And yeah, as well, you will need a channel description. And of course, this fella is gonna do it the best. So once you upload all of those things, you're done with it. What do you want to do now? Just copy the link of your channel once it's ready and take that link because you need it for Mewbird. Here is where you will paste your link from your YouTube channel and click on the continue button. And as you can see, you've got your ambassador license, whatever that is. And all you got to do now is to click on agree and download. And as you can see, it has been downloaded to my device. But of course, we cannot only upload the music on YouTube. First, we have to create a video with this music. And of course, it doesn't have to be a video. It can be a simple background image that has some effects onto it. Just go and see what other people are doing, your competitors. What I like to use is Leonardo.ai. Click on launch app. This is free. You don't have to pay for it. And what I really, really love about this one is that when you head over to image generation here, first of all, choose the model here, which is Dream Shaper version 7. This is the best one. And you can just enter the prompt right away. But if you don't have any experience with prompts and you don't know what you're doing, as I was before, just click here on prompt generation. Prompt generation is really good. All you got to do is to give it a basic description. So I'll just type in something like this girl listening to music, wearing headphones. Of course, I'll just take what I saw on that channel. You are going to have your own idea, something different, whatever you want. Click on IDA button here and you're going to get a few prompts. All right. So you can see four right away. And you can, for example, go with this one. But first of all, make sure that you change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. All right, this is important. Now click on the generate button here. And of course, it's going to generate, for example, three or four. You can change the number of images here. And let's just have a look at the end result. So here it is. If you don't like it, take another prompt. If you like it, click on the picture and then download the image by clicking here. All right. Now it is time to make this a video. It doesn't have to move, but it has to have a certain effect on it. That's how all these other channels are doing it. There is a certain effect to it, which makes it appear as if it's like a video, right? For this, I use CapCut. It's free. It's user friendly, very easy to use. Click on new video here and then just upload firstly your music. All right. So this is my lo-fi beat. Then put in the picture that we've generated with Leonardo. I'll just move it right here and then make this picture as long as your music is, of course. And then you can just add some effects. You've got a lot of effects here on the left hand side here. Click on the effects 
and there's like a lot of these things just don't make it like too aggressive all right make something you know just for it to appear as if something is moving on the screen you know something really subtle let's try it with this one you just move it right there and if i play it you can see yeah it's totally enough i'll just make this for as long as the video is so here just have a look and listen This is totally fine. People will just put this on while they're listening to something, while they're studying, while they're, I don't know, cleaning the house. They don't have to have too much video on it. No one is gonna watch it. They're just gonna listen to it. And then of course, just create a thumbnail. You can do that with Leonardo as well. I'm not gonna do it now. But what do you have to do in order to have a quick success on YouTube? Well, first of all, try live. You can see these live once. They have a lot of, lot of watch time. And you can use OBS Studio for that. And also, these videos that they've got, as you can see, most popular ones, and in fact, all of these are over one hour long. This means you will have to create a lot of songs on Mubert, and you will just have to add them all together in one hour plus video, right? So that's what you gotta do. You can't go with like two, three, four, ten 10 minutes. As I've told you, people wanna play this while they're doing something while they study, right? So you need to make longer videos and you are gonna have longer watch times well. Now also, it is true that you gotta pay for Mubert unless you just don't wanna get that Mubert sound and all of your tracks, but it's not expensive. As you can see, pricing $14 per month. You can generate up to 500 tracks per month and it's totally fine, right? I'm not affiliating for them. You will not find any description links down there, affiliate links, whatever. I just like to use them. It's not expensive, but it's pretty good, as you witnessed. So, wish you good luck, and I'll catch you next time.